The countdown is continuing until the March 25 New South Wales state election and to wrap the week of the campaign joining us live former New South Wales Liberal Party leader Kerry Chikorovsky. Kerry good to see you thanks for your time this morning so uh, becoming more and more of an issue Please. Dom Perrottet's brother in your view how much of an issue do you think he could be for him? Well, my view is that it shouldn't be an issue at all. I think it's incredibly unfair to drag family members into these sorts of very public debates. I mean, you know, John, Don Terraday's brother didn't get elected to Parliament. He's not subject to the same level of scrutiny that the Premier is. And I was not surprised yesterday that the Premier got as angry as he did. You know, he listed the number of times that the media have actually dragged his family into things. His parents have been dragged into things. His school has been dragged into things. So I can understand his, his, both his anger and his frustration that this continues to be an issue for him. Because, you know, I, when I was a member of parliament, um, I had the media occasionally wanting to write stuff about my children, most of which was always wrong. And I had some pretty huge arguments with editors about them not writing that stuff because my children were not elected to Parliament. They weren't part of what I was doing. And so they didn't need to be subject to that level of scrutiny. The other thing I would say is that from what I'm hearing so far, this looks like this is an internal Liberal Party you know, Barney. It's um, something going on with some of the people in the Liberal Party who are unhappy with some other people in the Liberal Party. And I actually don't think that's of any interest to the right, broader but, public in New South Wales. But what about when, the, when branch stacking's involved there? Are there not questions to answer? At the end of the day, he is the Premier. Uh, even though the branch stacking doesn't apply yeah, to Dom Perrottet, I should say, but it's his brother. And, and being the Premier, I should say, yeah. you know, he's, he's the leader of the state, so does he need to answer a question, even if it's his family or not? So Pete, so Pete, can I ask you, you've got a brother who's pretty high profile as well. Yeah. Are you responsible for his actions? I, Are you responsible I, for what he does? I, I, so I, I, I have, I have I been known I to get him into... I, I have been known to get him into trouble on more than one occasion. <laughs> <laughs> into trouble, I know. I know. But that's what I mean. You know, we're not responsible for our siblings. We're not responsible, you know, I mean, for the actions of people who uh, are related to us. And I don't actually think, I mean, to me, this looks as if, 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 if this wasn't a parité involved, do you think the Labor Party would be as enthusiastic about this inquiry? Is it, so, that's a, so you think it's a, it's a political hit that's uh, timed pre-election? Oh. Oh. Why else would they be doing it? I mean, you know, if there was real concerns here, if there are allegations of corruption which are involved public sector people, they should be referred to ICAC. This seems to me as if this is just because it happens to be a parité that the Labor Party are being very enthusiastic about it. The other thing I would say is we're, we're five weeks out from an election. Mm. Do you really think this is a good use of the time of the people sitting on that committee? I would have thought that they wanted to be out there talking to, working with the people of New South Wales to persuade them that they should be the next government. People are looking at this and going, well, why are you doing this? You know, mm -hmm. why are you sitting up there and not doing what you should be doing? working with the people of New South Wales, telling them their agenda to be the next government. That, I would have thought, was a better use of their time. OK, well, let's get on to that now with policy because uh, Dom Perrottet, again, he's going to back legislation. This announcement's coming out later today to stamp out gay conversion practices if, if re-elected. Uh, what do you make of this? Well, I think that's the right decision. And I think that the Premier went about it in the appropriate way. When he was asked about it earlier in the week, he said, look, I haven't seen the legislation and I need to consider it. And that's kind of Dom's style, you know. He's not going to just jump in at a press conference when he's asked about something without having an opportunity to look at and consider what the issue is. So they've obviously had that time. They've looked at the legislation. They've said that they're supporting it in principle. There will be some tweaking, which I'm sure Alex Granich, in his commentary, you've already said, that he's yep. aware that there will be some tweaking. But I think the really important thing here is that you now have bipartisan support about an issue which I think is of very great concern, not just within the LG LGBTQI community, but I think the greater community would not appreciate that sort of conversion practice being imposed on people who have a natural right to be what they are. Just a final one here, Kerry. I mean, uh, you, you, do, you point out five weeks ago, not very far away. Who do you think's got their nose in front at this stage? 
<laughs> You're not going to be happy with me, Pete, because I keep on saying it's too close to yeah. call, and I still think it is too close to call. I think, <laughs> I think, I think the issue is that um, the Premier is getting, he's getting a lot of publicity. Chris Minns is starting to get more publicity. I think the way I would have characterised this week, though, is that it was pretty quiet for both of them. I don't think there was a lot of noise around either of them, you know, with the exception perhaps of Dom's brother, but I don't think there was a lot of noise and a lot of you know, gaining traction within the community. I actually was at a function the other night and I said to the people, at the function and there were 40 people in the room and I said to them um, how many of you realize that the election is on in five weeks and no one put up their hand no one that was had paid that much attention to it yeah. they all half of them actually said oh there's an election on is yeah. there <laughs> no that's so true I mean people I kind we of have, we'll yeah, see in the next few days. yeah and really, really when there's a week or two to go they you know just the ordinary folks then start to go okay what's working what's not and fair enough point yeah, exactly right. And they will focus on the issues then and they'll focus on the leadership and they'll focus yep. on, you know, what they think they need, to, how they need to vote for the, you know, for the advancement of New South Wales. Good to see you, Kerry Chikorovsky. We'll talk to you again next week.